Davidson is very important. There's a legacy here in this town. And I think that the kids that's growing up now should know what we went through in order to have a school. We didn't know how much we were missing until we probably went to college because I think we were sheltered in, in a small town. It was just, you know, the only way that we knew. My name is Dottie Chapman Reed. I live here in Atlanta, Georgia now, but I'm a native of Water Valley, Mississippi. I am a grandmother and I am writing a column now for the North Mississippi Herald. My name is Emma Faye Gooch. I was born and raised in Water Valley, Mississippi. I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, I'm a retired Army veteran. We had to walk to school. You know, it wasn't a long walk. That was the shortest part of our walk, you know, to switch over from the black neighborhood through the white neighborhood back into the black neighborhood again. We didn't have backpacks or anything like that. And you have an arm load of books and you're walking over to Davidson Elementary School. We don't know really if our books were always up to par or not. Several people who graduated from Davidson did go to college and they have done really well. We didn't know what we were missing until we got out into society. We saw how hard the teachers worked and what they did to prepare us every day because they poured so much into our lives that we might not have appreciated at the time, but now we are, we're reaping the benefits of their sacrifices and their toil. To know that there was a place that I could go and people cared about what I did, what I learned, and how I used what I learned. That's what Davidson was to me. And we had pride in that school. And when I think about all the things that we had as far as the trophies and all our graduation pictures of, our, of the classes and stuff, they're all gone. It makes me sad because there are other facilities that have just been literally torn down there's nothing left to show that we even existed as a school. The school was segregated. That was our legacy. That was what we did when we were growing up. And we always came out on top. Just as simple as that, we had the best. We had the best coaches, we had the best teachers. And we loved our schools. And we loved, we loved our administrators, our teachers, and, you know, they were hard on us sometimes. But they were there trying to make for a better world, you know, make us stronger. I'm still in awe of how we, how we made it through. Regardless of all the downfalls, all the like of school books, we still made it. And that regardless of who you are, and regardless of what your circumstances are, you can make it in this world. You just have to put forth the effort. I think that's really one of the key things about the black community in general. You know, most of our educators and parents had high expectations. And that was one thing that motivated a lot of us to, to try to do what they've done, you know, to accomplish something with our lives and to give back to others. And, and that's what I think I learned at Davidson and that was so very important. And I think that's the legacy that they could look back and see that people right now, today, can't even imagine a segregated school. Can't even imagine that the world was different back then. I was a member of the last class, last segregated class, to graduate from Davidson High School. I'm a graduate of Davidson High School, class of 1970. The last class that graduated from a segregated school in Water Valley, Mississippi.